-hmm. Let's do another experiment with okay. ice cubes. All right. Okay, I'll bring out the ice cubes. Okay, I'll bring out the goodies over here. Good. Plastic bags, some paper, yes. paper bag. Lots of different goodies, and, and basically what we're doing here is that we're going to dress up these ice cubes, right? Right. Okay. What we're going to do is try to figure out a way to keep these ice cubes from melting. We're going to use these, all of these materials here to insulate our ice cubes. Okay. I like to dress mine up in foil. What do you like? What do you like? It's shiny. I think I'm going to use, okay. start with this plastic bag. But you could maybe use a different thing. Uh, you could use... A couple of things, actually. Right. You could use the foil, you could use a paper bag together. Uh -huh. Okay, good together. idea. Good idea. Good Again, idea. the whole idea yeah. here is to see how long you can keep the ice cube frozen. That's right. That's right. And you can use whatever you might have around mm -hmm. the house. We could have, if you have foil, that's good. If you mm -hmm. have plastic, that's good. I'm going to build a... And this is a good way of maybe trying to understand how in past years people might have kept their goods uh, frozen or, yeah. and refrigerated when they didn't really have modern refrigeration. Well, I wonder how they did that. Yeah. That's a good question for grandparents or even great-grandparents to figure out how they kept things fresh and cold when they didn't have refrigerators.